Hey guys, Angelo here. Welcome to another design tutorial. Today I wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to create tables, convert text to tables in Adobe InDesign. This is useful if you have a text file or a text document that you want to create a table out of in InDesign. There are a few steps to go through and I'm going to show you how to format and edit and resize the cells and the columns. Okay, so let's get started. On my screen here you can see the chart or the graph that I've created this version here which is a look at the top electric cars I have some column headers as well as the cars the model the horsepower and the base price so that's basically the file that I'm going to recreate here and I'm just gonna scroll down to my second page now the first thing you want to do is using a word file so Microsoft Word or a text file just make sure that you have tabs set in that file and paragraph breaks. This is going to make the process so much easier when you bring it into InDesign. So with my selection tool, the first thing I want to do is just go up to File and Place. We're going to go find that text file. There's mine right there, eCars, so I'm going to click that and hit Open. You can see here I have a loaded cursor with the text file that I have there with the chart. So I'm just going to left click and drag and there's the chart there. Just to give you a heads up, if you want to put your uh, show characters on to see the tabs and the paragraph breaks, just go up to type and show hidden characters. And let me just put my guides on there. And you can see if I zoom in, those areas right there, those are the tabs and then the paragraph breaks you can see. So I just have an extra one there and I'm going to get rid of it. I don't really want these on so I'm just going to turn them off for now. This will give you an idea that if you have proper tabs set in your document, okay? So I'm just gonna hide them because I don't really need them here. So I'm gonna hide it. And I'm gonna zoom back out a bit. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna select the text and go up to table. And what I wanna do here is I wanna convert, oops, I wanna convert the text to a table. So I'm gonna click that and that's gonna bring up this dialog box. There's two areas that you should note here. Just keep an eye on the column separator because we do have tabs set in our chart. I'm going to leave it at tab. The row separator, I'm going to leave that at paragraph because we do have paragraph breaks. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And what InDesign does for me, it now creates this simple chart that I can go in now and edit and alter the way I would want it. So obviously this is not something that I would be satisfied with only because there's lots of space between the columns and whatnot so let's start there first thing I want to do is I'm just gonna bring this up and take my guides off so you can get a better idea there of the chart the table here okay I'm gonna zoom in a bit and what I want to do is I want to select the text and I'm gonna go up to table all your adjustments will be done through the table uh, drop down so the first thing I want to do is go up to table options and Actually, I want to go to cell options and let's go to rows and columns because this is where I'm going to adjust the spacing. So the row height, as you can see here, some of the horsepower, the P's, the descender on the P is too close to the actual lines here. So what I want to do is I'm just going to make it maybe 0.25 and hit tab. That creates a little bit extra space and then the column width here. I don't want all this white area or this negative space in the columns. It's not needed. So I'm just going to tighten that up. Just click the down arrow to tighten up that table a little bit. Okay. And that's pretty good right there. You can always go back and alter it even more if you want. So I'm just going to hit, hit OK. And now all of a sudden I've tightened up those columns and I've adjusted the spacing in the rows just so it's not so tight uh, underneath. Okay. So if you wanted to do any edits in terms of changing your fonts or typefaces, you could still do that by selecting this top row. And right now I have it at Helvetica regular. I can make the top portion bold, okay, just to make it stand out a little bit more. And this one here, I'll just maybe leave it as regular for now. Now what I want to do is I'm just going to go ahead and select it again, and I'm going to go back up to my table options. Uh, cell options and go to strokes and fills. So basically what I want to do here is I want to leave the uh, cell stroke. Um, I'm going to change that. Actually I'm going to make that two so make it a little bit thicker and I'm going to change the color of it to this Pantone 
white that I've kind of, uh, this one here, yeah. I'm gonna click that. And the self fill, I'm gonna click that, and I've made this uh, turquoise greenish Pantone color, which I'm gonna create, and then I'm gonna hit OK. You can change this, the type of stroke on the cell. I just like leaving it at a solid stroke and hit OK. Now if I click off here, you can see now um, my table is looking more like the one I have up top here. Actually, I should make the, I should, I should have reversed those. So let's go ahead and go to cell option stroke and we'll make uh, we'll make the stroke that Pantone green turquoise and make the fill white that's better and hit OK. So that's what I have up here. That, that looks better. Okay. Um, other thing I wanted to do, as you can see on top, let me just bring that down a bit. Oh, I didn't get that portion. Let me get that. Table, cell option, strokes and fills. Uh, that will be this will be white. Okay, so they should all be fixed now. There we go, perfect. Oh gotta make it two point. Okay, so table, cell options, rows and uh, strokes and fills, and make this make the weight two two point. There we go. Figured it out. Okay, so now I can bring this down. And there, there's my table, looking a lot like the, the one I have up top. If I go back up to the top version here, I do have a header up here, a look at the top electric cars. So let's go ahead and do that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my cursor up top here, and I'm going to go up to table. I might have to, no, that's good. Table options. Um, where are we going here? Table setup. So go up to table options and then table setup. I'm going to bring this dialog box over to the right hand side here. Now the body rows, as you can see, it's set to nine. So I have nine rows there, but the header rows is set to zero. I do want a header because we're going to create a, a header much like you saw in my first version there. So I'm going to click that to create a header. Now it's divided into four columns. You could change that. Um, actually, let's hit cancel there. Um, it's divided, but we're going to fix that right now. Okay, so I'm going to hit OK. And this top portion is now going to become where I'm going to click and write in my header. So I'm going to say, uh, look at the top electric cars. Now, as you can see, it's contained only in that first cell here, whereas I want it to stretch all the way across. So I'm just going to highlight, select that, but I'm also going to select these rows um, as well. Um, and I'm going to go up to table again. And I'm just going to make my way down and go to Merge Cells. What that does is now it merges all four, and now I can select this and probably center align it too. So let's do that. There you go. Okay, so that's how you would create a table like that. And let's just say you wanted to add another row or multiple rows. That's possible as well. Um, first off, I want to highlight this, and let's just say I wanted to bring this one up one. Let's just say Renault Zoe, 245 horsepower. I could bring that up to uh, above the BMW, or you can bring it back down as well, okay? So you can maneuver it, just highlight the actual row, and then drag it to the position where you would want it. But let's just say I wanted to add some more rows. Let's say I had four more cars to add to this table. I would just click on... Um, leave my cursor at the, the final point here right after the, the price and then go up back up the table go to insert and let's just say I wanted to insert row I can insert as many as I want so let's just say I wanted three hit OK and let's bring this down so there's three more rows so if you ever had to add more cars that that would be how you would do it okay I'm just gonna default back here Okay, uh, good. So what I want to do now is I'm just going to bring it back up. It's a little wider than what I had here, but that's okay. I'm going to click and drag this over up top here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, for, for now, I'm just going to uh, scale it down. So you can scale this down by holding Shift Option, uh, or I'm sorry, Shift Command, 
or shift control on a PC and then just drag it in. So that's good. I'm going to move this one off to the side. Put this one kind of hanging over the image. And then what I did here, just add a little bit more depth to it, make it have uh, a little bit more dimension, is I clicked on it once with my selection tool and I went to the effects uh, icon here in your properties panel. Okay, another way of accessing effects is going to window and effects. You can actually pull out the window that way as well, but it's over here as well, so I just access it from there. And then I'm just going to click drop shadow and just give it a little drop shadow and hit OK. This way it looks like it's popping out and it gives, it brings more detail and more attention to that table as well. Okay, and this also could be, it could be wrapped in text. So just to give an example, let's bring, let's make another copy. So Alt and drag. And let's just say I wanted to wrap this in a story. Just for now, I'm just going to drag this over. Go to my type tool and I'm going to create a, um, let's just create a text frame that's three columns for now. I'm going to go up to type, show hidden, oh, I'm sorry. I'm not going to show hidden cameras. I want to fill it with placeholder text. And I'm going to make the columns. Uh, let's make it two columns. Okay. And what I could do is I just drag this and bring it into this area here. And just shift command to match it up to your column there. And then what I'm going to do is just give it a text wrap. So I'll go up to window. And I like accessing the actual window here. So go to text wrap. And I want to I want to wrap around the bounding box, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now I don't want to wrap all the way around in this case. So what I did is I unlinked the constrained uh, areas where I can change the offset, and I only want to change the bottom portion. So I'm going to increase the, the bottom portion of the wrap. Okay, so that's a good way of adding a table within a body of text, say a story. Okay, so if this story was about electric cars, boom, you could put that in and just give it a text wrap. And it gives the story, A, it gives the story, uh, gives readers a break from reading long bodies of text, but it also gives insight and detail on the story that you're, you're uh, highlighting as well. Okay, so that's today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And that's how you would create a, a simple table. There's other settings that you can play around with, but once you get the basics, you're good to go. All right. Have a great day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye now.